Hello everyone, we will continue the topic log objects and in the previous video, we finished with the coding part. Now we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode so that this topic can give you 100% clarity. And same thing is yes, those who know debugging, they can understand very well. Some people don't know debugging at this point of time. They will learn in the future. So no problem. Anyways, I will explain in such a way so that you can understand very, very well. Or it is totally your wish. You can learn up to that level how to create a lock object, then learn the programming and debugging. Then you can go for the remaining part of lock object. So we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode. Now, this is our locking function module and this is our unlocking function module. If you remember, when we created the lock object through SC11 transaction code, at that time, we choose the various modes. If you remember, firstly, we took shared lock, then the mode is S. Then we choose right lock, the default value is E. When we choose exclusive, not cumulative, the value is X. For the best understanding, we will go one by one. That based upon our requirement, we should go for shared lock, we should go for right lock, or we should go for exclusive, not cumulative. So what we will do? There's no need to change here now. You can change in the coding also directly. Suppose as of now, the mode is X. So I will just change it to S. S means we are firstly going for share. And while DQ also, I will go for share. I will activate. Now we will run and we will understand the very, we will go for full understanding. Firstly, go to display mode. Why I'm going to display mode so that you will not see any lock entry. So I will go to SM12. We all know that SM12 is the transaction code for the lock entries. And just see, as of now, I'll just close everything. I will close SC11 also. Yes. As of now, I have only, only two sessions. One is of SM12. One is of the program in which we have written the logic and program is also in the display mode. So there will not be any lock entry in SM12. If I am not changing the program, then how will the lock entry will be there? There will not be any lock entry. Just see, there is nothing in the SM12. Now I will put a break point, break point. How to put break point? You can put a cursor and this is the red mark. Now, whenever I will run the program, program will stop on this particular line. If you have the knowledge or if you do not have the knowledge of debugging, no problem. Just do the steps, put the break point. This is the, I put the breakpoint onto this 12th number line. Just put the cursor and click onto this button. I'm running. Suppose for the order number one, I want to change the payment mode to N. Now, if I will show you the table, firstly, we will check in the table. For the order number one, the payment mode is C as of now. Now I'm going to N. I'm just executing. Why I'm showing you in debugging mode so that full clarity will be there. 
So you all are in debugging mode. Click on to desktop three. Now just see what we gave, what the order number we gave. Just double click, double click. This is your order number. You gave order number one. And what the payment mode you gave? N. Currently, I am on 12th number line because I put a break point on 12th number line. Now, this from 12th number line till 24th number line. I'll say till 23rd. There is no dot or period. The period is directly on the 24th number line. So now we know that whenever I want to do line by line execution, I will do F6. Those who know debugging, this knowledge is for them. But those who don't know, just think, just remember one point at this point of time, F6 is line by line execution. So currently I am on 12th number line. Now, whenever I will do F6, control will directly come from 12th number line to 25th number line because this will act as one line, one line. This is F6. Now, you are passing order number one to this NQ function module. And what is NQ? NQ is for locking, locking. And just see, I am the first user who want to change the payment mode of order number one. If I am the first user and I am locking, it means it will be successfully logged because I am the first user who is changing the order number one. So if I will do F6, you can see Sai Sabar C is zero, zero. Zero means what? Successful. It means order number one is successfully logged by me, logged by me. Now, I logged, you all know, what is the transaction code to see the log entries? that transaction code to see the log entries is SM12. Now I will search and you can see we are able to find the entry. Just see, understand what the mode we used, shared mode. This is the table, yes. And just see what is this? We used order number one. And what is this 900? 900 is client, client of the SAP system. Whenever I logged in, this 900 is the client number. So in 900 client, I logged order number one by using which mode? S mode. And this is my login ID of SAP. Login ID of SAP. Now, I used shared mode to lock. Now you all know what is read lock or what is shared lock. In case of read lock or shared lock, others can also read this particular order number one. Others can also read. Yes, they cannot change, but they can also read this order number. Now I will show you. So to show from other user, I will log in through different user because I want to show so that I can log in through different ID now. This is that another user. Now I will again go to the same to same program. Now this is our program and I will just put a break point here. Now another user, for the best understanding, suppose another user is also running the program. Now another user is also passing same to same order number. 
Now suppose another user is changing to T. I am changing to N. Another user is changing to T. Yes. Now I already logged using which particular mode? Shared mode. Shared mode. I am executing. I put shared log. Now the question comes. If I put shared log, can other user also read this order number? Yes, other user can also read this order number. So if I will do F6, have you seen Sai Sabar C is zero for another user also? If I will see SM12 now for different user R Mahata 1. Firstly, my user ID was R Mahata. Then another user is R Mahata 1. Just see, it is R Mahata 1. If I will go for search, now you can see the another user also also able to read the order number 1. But is this our requirement? This is not our requirement. What is our requirement? If I am changing a order number one. I am changing the payment mode of order number one. Other user, whoever is doing the same thing, the other user should get a error. So just think, based upon our requirement, is shared log fulfill our requirement? No. So compulsory, we need to go for which log? We need to go for right log or we need to go for enhanced right log because you know very well in case of right log or enhanced right log, other users cannot even read, they cannot even change. There is a, another difference between both of them. That's a different thing. But compulsory, I should go for either right log or enhanced right log so that if I log, another user will simply, simply get a error message. Now, currently I put a shared log. So for the other user also able to read that particular thing, but it is not our requirement. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply change the mode to E. Then we will see how the behavior is. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started understanding everything in the debugging. So that topic will make more more sense to you. And now we put a break point. And yes, currently we started with S mode, means shared mode or read mode. So now if I am the first user, I logged order number one. But in case of read log or shared log, other users can also read the data. So I logged in through different ID. Other user is also trying to change order number one. I put shared log. So others are also able to read the thing. But this is not our requirement. What is our requirement? If I am going for order number one, other users should immediately get the error whenever other user is running the program. They cannot do anything. So I should compulsory go for right log or enhanced right log. So in the next video, we will change the mode and we will do the behavior. We will see the behavior. So that's it in this video. Thank you.